we had a case of a worker who worked in the airport as a security guard. They worked at one of the structures in the airport where they do some of the catering. So what happens is, you know, the carts that are on the airplanes where they serve the food from? So those carts are prepackaged in the airport at one of those buildings. They, they, they shove all the food in there and, and all the trays and whatever it is flight attendants serve to the passengers. So my client was working as a security guard in one of these locations and there was a worker whose job it was to take these carts, the used carts from the plane, which I guess had some garbage in it and, and whatever trash that they put in there, bring it to this location and then at this location he would pick up the new carts which were full with the, with the new food that they were going to bring to the next plane. So th this was this worker's job. So my client was at her desk. She had a uh, sort of tall desk where she sat on this tall stool and she was the security guard there. The worker took 10 of these carts at once and was moving them. Now, I know that they're not that large, the carts. We all know what they look like from being on airplanes, but he took 10 of them at one time and was pushing them forward. What happened was he pushed them and it struck the desk. It went right into the desk that my client had been sitting at. And as a result, the desk jumped forward. It just struck it with a lot of force. It hit my client, causing her to sustain an injury to her shoulder. Now, how do we know exactly what happened in this case? Not only because my client told us what happened, but because the entire incident was caught on video. This was in an, you know, an airport uh, building. Uh, security was tight, and the entire incident was caught on video. We were able to actually see this gentleman pushing those carts. We saw the carts strike the desk, and we see the desk push back right into my client who was sitting right behind the desk. So we saw the whole thing happen. In this case, our argument was very simple. We argued that it was just unreasonable for that man to be pushing 10 carts at one time. I understand he needs to be efficient. I understand he needs to save time. He doesn't want to do one cart at a time. So he could do two, three, four, five, or six. But once you get to more than that, it becomes unwieldy. It becomes difficult to maneuver them and difficult to move them. And it also creates a force that should it strike anything, it's going to do so with a heavy impact. And that's exactly what happened in this case. So our argument was that the worker was negligent, and as a result of his negligence, my client was hurt. She sustained an injury to her shoulder, which required surgery. She uh, was out of work for a significant period of time, and we made those claims on her behalf, and as a result, we were able to recover for her.